Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, I just want to, you know, hope everybody had a good New Year, Christmas and everything. And uh, so a short topic I'm going to do this week is just on, you know, um, you know, with the new year, we have opportunity to start new and move past, you know, distractions we've had in the past. So depending on your individual situation, I mean, this may or may not apply to you, but, uh, you know, I just thought it'd be, uh, it's a good time to kind of reflect, evaluate, analyze your life, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and then make changes. All right. Uh, be it school, but also in your personal life, professional life. So it depends on what your situation is. Uh, you know, every day you have an opportunity to make a change, okay, a positive change to make life a little more easier for you. So uh, you can, you know, you can keep doing things the way you've been doing them. Uh, and that's under the assumption that uh, you're always behind or like in school, you, you know, you're, you're struggling, you're behind. You're not putting in the 10, 20 hours a week. You're putting in one or two uh, or, you know, things in your personal life or something. So it just depends. So, I mean, you can keep doing things the way you're doing and not getting the results you want. Um, you know, or you can, you know, make changes in your life, change the habits and change the results you get. So, you know, you don't have to settle for what you've been getting if you've been getting, you know, if you're not getting the results you want. Okay. You can go for what you want and what you desire, uh, what your goals are. And, uh, you know, a thing I used to do um, when I had managers working with me in my domino years, uh, you know, we all hear about to-do lists. Oh, I got to do these th these things every day. On the left here, I have the to-do list, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, check the bank kids or whatever, you know, and you got these things. But what I used to do is, in a, you know, I would kind of ambush my managers in a meeting and say, okay, I want to see a list of what you did not do. And more than often than not, the do not, did not do list was more than the to do list. All these things we didn't get done that we should have gotten done. So, uh, you know, your, your did not do list should not be more than your to do list. All right. Um, so I just want to make clear, you know, you've got things you do everything, but what did you not do? So in relating to school, did you get the discussion in on Wednesday? Did you do the two replies? Did you get everything in on Sunday in time? Um, or, or did you end up having to get a, an extension or something like that because you didn't get things done? Uh, did you do the 10 hours a week on each course? You know, all the, these are things. And then you can also apply that to things you do in your personal life, professional life, uh, the other commitments you may have. All right, so you deserve to not struggle in life. You know, don't wait, make the changes. You know, don't you know, don't keep doing what you've been doing. Stop letting life control you. Take charge and control of your life and your time. You know, it, it's not supposed to be. You know, you're at the mercy of what life throws at you. You, you should, you're in charge of what gets thrown at you, or what you decide to catch or not catch, or whatever the case may be. So, you know, take charge of your own life. All right, and uh, stay focused on the goal.